So this is my first attempt at getting a 24 hour plus time lapse of the telescope as it's tracking the sun. I've got the P900 mounted on a tripod and it's being powered by an AC adapter cord because obviously the battery would not last all night. It's taking one frame every minute and the telescope is tracking the sun. It's 3 p.m. The system has been running for about two hours already. My plan is to let it run through the night, all day tomorrow until tomorrow evening sunset. So that will be more than 24 hours. Now, unfortunately, it is forecast to rain this evening. I'm going to keep an eye on that. And if it looks like it's going to rain, I will have to abort and bring the equipment inside so that it doesn't get wet. But with any luck, the rain will hold off and we'll have this full 24 hour plus time lapse ready to go tomorrow evening. So it's now the next morning and I'm happy to report that both the P900 and the telescope have been operating successfully all night. As you can see, the telescope tube is now facing east and the camera is still taking one frame every minute. There's the local time in Sydney, Australia, 6.49am and the camera is just about to take another snapshot. Now what I propose to do is let this run until sunset this evening so that we have more than 24 hours of time lapse. But as you can see that telescope has rotated continually and is again facing towards the east. So it's now 7.35 and as you can see the sun is shining on the balcony. Take a look at the angle of those shadows. The P900 is still recording one photo every 60 seconds for the time lapse and the telescope is still tracking the sun. After having rotated all night it's now facing the sun rising in the east. Once the sun reaches the telescope itself I'll take a short video of the solar locator site mounted on the front of the telescope to confirm that it is still pointing directly at the sun. So the sun is now shining on the telescope and as you can see by that small solar alignment site on the front, it is actually pointing directly at the sun. After having rotated all night on a single axis, it has been tracking the sun and this is the proof that it is pointing still directly at the sun and it's 8 49 a.m. so we just crossed the equator which means I need to make an adjustment for the Coriolis effect okay it's all good now 